everyone, so today's video is going to be a tour of the Alexander cage which is currently home to my Syrian hamster Mabel. So I've just redecorated her cage and I thought I would film a cage tour. So on the front of her cage we have these two 150ml water bottles, we have one here and then one here and then we've got two doors. Mabel tends to use this door and that water bottle more than these two. Um, I'm not really sure why, but she just does. And then down here, on the front of the cage, we have these four really cute hamster erasers. And I think these are really adorable, and I just really like them being there. Mabel can't get to these, though, because they aren't edible, and it wouldn't be safe for her to chew them. So then, going up her ramp to her top level, we have her house, which came free with the cage. This was really easy to assemble, and... Mabel loves running in and out of it and in front of that we have a pile of log chews bound together with some sisal rope and this just makes it a bit more interesting and also means that the logs take up a lot less space and then to the left of her house we have a carrot Nora from Pets at Home and it's just attached to the bars of her cage by the metal attachment it comes with and then to the right of her house we have the one end of the ankle tough tube. So the ankle tough tube goes all the way along the back of Mabel's cage. It is absolutely huge and in front of it just to hold it in place we have these three pet brand two-in-one dental chews. We have a blue one, an orange one and a green one. So some of these chews have a filling in and some don't. This is because Mabel does like taking the filling out of them and it just sort of encourages her to chew. As you can see, she's had quite a good chew on this one here. And then by the other end of the ankle tough tube, she has her daisy chain from Pets at Home. She hasn't actually chewed on this yet, but I'm sure she will when she gets a bit bored. Then next to the daisy chain, we have her corny the owl, which sadly she did rip the facial features off, but I still think it's cute and I still like to have it in her cage. And then next to that, we have a bendy bridge. This is actually the Woodlands one, so it was quite pricey at £3, but I know you can get them a lot cheaper at about £1.20 off Fiverr. So here is an overview of her top level. Now we'll take the lid off and show you what's on the base of her cage. So before I take the lid off, I thought I would just show you what's attached to the bars of her cage. So here we just have a shooting star bird toy. And here we just have her Fruity Spinners toy, and this is just the apple version. So I'm going to start in this back corner, which is where she has her large red polka dot bowl with her chinchilla sand in. And next to that is just a Borden Breaker watermelon chew. The bowl is from B&M Bargains, and I think it is a perfect size for a Syrian hamster's sand bath. And then the watermelon chew was from the Pet Hut, and I bought that when I was on holiday. Then down in the front corner we have her munch bowl. This was Humphrey's bowl though I thought it looked quite cute in Mabel's cage and so Mabel's using it this week. So this is just a blue one and it just says munch on. It's quite a tall bowl so I wouldn't be able to use it for Hamish because I doubt he'd be able to climb in. So I think they're perfect for Syrians. And in this bowl is just her diet and if you'd like to know what I feed Mabel then I will leave a link to her diet video in the description. Then coming into the front of her cage, we have these two really cute wood chews. We've got a grape one, and then we've just got a pink one. The pink one's a rotor stack one, and then the grape one's boredom breaker. And as you can see, she's had a little nibble on both of them. And then next to that, we have her edible log hideaway. So this is a cheaper version of the Pets at Home one. Um, this one was only $1.99 from a local pet shop. And as you can see, Mabel has had a big chew on it. So I'm not too sure what it's made of, but I know it's edible and Mabel just really loves chewing on it. It is also here under the ramp to decrease the steepness of the ramp because I find that Mabel does have a little bit of trouble getting up it. But if I put this underneath it, she has no problem at all. Now here, going across her cage, we have her boredom breaker corrugated tunnel. And she has had a little chew on this side of it here, but apart from that, she's sort of left it be. And it does look a bit like a tree from, like a tree trunk from this end and the bottom because there's pieces of cardboard which have been made to look like tree trunks which have been stuck to either end. 
and it's just made of corrugated cardboard so it's perfectly safe for them to chew and it's just by the Borden Breaker range and I really recommend these. Then at the back we have her comfort wheel. This is just the 8 inch one and I would love to upgrade her to a bigger wheel as she is quite a large Syrian. Um, I think she weighs something like 250 grams so I might need to upgrade her but at the minute her back isn't actually arching so she is okay. And this is just this really nice sort of ready purpley pinky colour and I really like it. This wheel isn't silent so if you're looking for a silent wheel then I wouldn't recommend it but these are really cheap and they come in a nice size um, so I really would recommend them but of course if you want a silent wheel go for one which is a bit quieter because this one does make quite a racket even though we have oiled it. Then we have her huge bed which came with the cage. As you can see inside the bed she has her green and blue hamster toilet. This has just got the potty litter in and I've put that there because she's taken to going to the toilet there instead of in her sand bath and I just don't like her peeing in the corner and I prefer it if she peed in the potty. And of course her sand bath won't fit under there so that's the only thing I sort of had which could go under there. And then she's just started to drag into her bed her Woody's caterpillar. So she's actually chewed her Woody's the caterpillar's ears quite a bit. Though she hasn't managed to chew the actual string yet so he hasn't fallen apart. So I'm sure in the future she will get a bit bored and rip it to pieces like she does with most of her toys. Moving on the top of her level we have one thing at the back of it and she's just got this fruit and nut chew in the orange colour and it's still got the nut inside and she's had a nice chew on the edges to get the nut out but she hasn't succeeded so far. And then going across the like middle level she has her cardboard tube. This is just a bluey green and orange one and this was only 50p from the range. So if you're looking for a cardboard tube like this, I would highly recommend that you go to the range to get one. And she's had a little bit of a chew around the edge. Then moving on to the front, she has her ladybug chew and it's got a little wheel so it rolls. But this is by Toys From Trees and she hasn't actually chewed this one yet, which I'm quite pleased about because it's so cute and I'd like it to stay how it is. So as I was saying, here is just an overview of the base of her cage. So I'll just put the lid back on now and see you then. So thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more like this, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Bye.